Hi guys, this feels really like a noob, right? This is all new to me. So we have new applications on our repo and uh, this is one of them, the G overlay. And together with the applications Mango Hut that's available, VK Basalt is already there as well and Replay Sorcery as well. And with this application, I can actually set all of them. So, looking good. I have no idea what all this will do, <laughs> but it can, I need to restart, it says anyway, restart the system. VK Basalt, global enable, okay. So all of these applications, I wonder, right? Control, um, let's go for a control C here. Pseudo Pacman. I've installed G overlay bin and it installed that. So I'm guessing I need to install this separately. Wouldn't make sense otherwise. Uh, what is the name again? Official news, go check. Replay sorcery, for example. Replay sorcery. So, replay. Oh, the minus S is not correct. Literary play sorcery, VK results. Those guys probably need to be installed and we have a configuration here. And we can go back for the, the overlay, G overlay is here. There he is. Now it will be probably making more sense because these applications have now been installed and I can probably change them the way I like. I guess active effects are bloom, blur, <sighs> right? <laughs> I need to figure out a lot. Original image, final image, enable, contrast, adaptive sharpening, Mango Huts is showing the frames per seconds, the microseconds here, but it seems it can do more. So it's gonna change the configuration, I suppose. So I don't have to go into the, the uh, config, which there is a config, right? Just read the manual, type Mango Hut help or man Mango Hut and read, or go to GitHub and read. Spotify as well, VLC, Audacious, Cantata. So a lot to learn, a lot to learn. That's great, it's fun. But now you know, there is G overlay on your repo. Cheers.